Authorities in Greece are making an international appeal this morning. They're trying to identify a young girl found in a raid on a gypsy camp last week. They fear she could be the victim of child trafficking. Mark Phillips is in London. Mark, good morning. Good morning, Nora. Charlie, well, she answers to the name Maria. She's thought to be four years old, and she's now being cared for by social services in Greece. The rest of her story is a mystery, and by the sound of it, a sinister one. It was the girl's looks that were the first clue, blonde and blue-eyed, not the typical gypsy dark hair and dark eyes. She was spotted in a gypsy community in the central Greek region of Larissa when police arrived to investigate another issue. DNA tests proved the girl did not come from the same family as the one she was living with. <laughs> Members of the group are now arguing the child had been, quote, given to the family for care and that she had been treated well. Others take a dimmer view, that she was stolen for resale, or perhaps that she had some other value, that a blonde child is good for street begging. A family home video shown to reporters apparently confirms the child had been with the group for some time. She appears to be about two years old here. A charity has published a poster image of the girl saying it's received thousands of calls from around the world, including four calls it calls promising from the United States. It shows that it could be kidnapping and combined uh, effort of these people to buy and sell children. And when you have a good commodity like this one, they're trying to find better price. A man and a woman were arrested and taken from this community. They're appearing in court today charged with abducting a minor. Their lawyers say they will offer a defense. Our uh, client's uh, claim is that uh, we never uh, abduct this child. We, we've just adopted with a uh, uh, way non-legal. A lot happens in gypsy communities that's off the books, but this case has raised the hopes of a lot of families of children who have disappeared. One may be lucky. For the others, it may simply reopen some terrible wounds. Nora, Charlie. Mark Phillips, thank you.